Every phone touts their value, but the Pixel 8a shows us why it's the best chief phone on the market with its intelligent AI features, charming design, and class-leading software support. With the Pixel 8a design, I am really impressed by how it looks and feels very much like Google's more expensive flagship phones. For a mid-ranger, it certainly has a charm, so it that few phones can match. It's definitely better look than Samsung's comparable Galaxy A35 and makes the aging iPhone SE 2022 even more dated than it is already. There are a couple of design changes that make the Pixel 8a look better than the Pixel 7a. First of all, the corners have been rounded to make it more in line with the design of the Pixel 8 and 8 Pro's design language. Secondly, it also feels much better to hold because of the matte black and polished aluminium frame it's sporting this time. It doesn't feel slippery like the glossy finish of the Pixel 7a, while the matte finish makes it much more smudge resistant. I love how the Pixel 8a always looks clean each and every time I take it out of my pocket or after using it for a period of time. Beyond these two changes, pretty much everything else about the Pixel 8a is identical including the horizontal bar on the back of the phone that contains its cameras, USB-C port, power and volume rockers. I was hoping for Google to trim the bezels around the display a bit more, there is still a wider bezel on the bottom edge of the display. Google's sustainable pledge continues with the Pixel 8a's construction because it uses more recycled aluminium, glass, and plastic while still offering an IP67 rating for water and dust resistance. This is all fantastic stuff, especially when the Pixel 8a feels incredibly well built. If my Pixel 8 Pro long term review is any indication, I suspect the Pixel 7a to hold up just as well. Google's not the first nor the last phone maker to claim extreme brightness with its displays and while some claims may seem a bit outrageous. I am happy to report that the Pixel 8a at least delivers a brighter screen compared to the Pixel 7a with its 6.1 inch OLED with a resolution of 24 100 by 1800 pixels, it adopts the same display technology found with the Pixel 8, an actual display that Google claims can reach a peak brightness of 2000 nits. Our lab testing reveals a peak brightness output 1378 nits and 1350 nits with HDR content, the latter very much comes close to Google's own claim of 1400 nits, even though the Pixel 8a display's peak output is still nowhere close to the 2000 nit rating Google's mentions. It's still much brighter than the Pixel 7a's meager 931 nits of brightness. I watched a bunch of 4K HDR videos outside on a sunny day and could still make them out. Another display improvement pertains to the Pixel 8a's dynamic 120Hz display refresh rate up from the Pixel 7a's 90Hz refresh rate. There is a noticeable difference whenever I activate smooth display mode which makes the scrolling animation around the interface look much smoother. When smooth display is off, I can tell there is a little bit of jitter when scrolling a web page or the apps panel. When it comes to the stuff I use my phone for, the 6.1 inch actual display gets the job done. The OLED panel offers wide viewing angles that doesn't distort the screen in any way, while its rich and vibrant color palette makes watching trailers like Furious Air such a visual feast to the eyes. There are plenty of flagship caliber phones in our best camera phones guide but only one of them cost less than 500 bucks, the Pixel 7a. That phone earns the title of best camera phone value so it's not all that out of the question for the Pixel 8a to continue the trend. On paper, the Pixel 8a is rocking a dual camera arrangement that consists of a 64 megapixel main camera paired with 13 megapixel ultra wide along with 13 megapixel selfie camera on the front. These rear cameras are no different from before but technically the front camera has a wider 96.5 degree field of view to better fit more people into the frame for group shots. 
Now comes the important question, how much better is its camera performance? Now you can see some camera samples. These improvements come without upping the cost of the phone which in this day and age is a great thing in my book. This means you are getting even more value out of the Pixel 8a more so if you intend on holding it for the next 7 years. I am not one to shell out thousand dollar plus for a phone which is why this is the phone I would buy with my own money. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.